Persona 3 Remake incoming. Okay, this is quite early on in the presentation. I thought I was going to save those like, like a capstone. Oh my god, it's pretty. Oh, I'm liking the UI. Look, when you have a good UI like you do with Persona, you don't really need to change it. I like it. I'm loving this color of blue or purple, whatever. Got the shop with the police bro there. Oh, yeah. I need the HD cutscenes after playing portable. I just need... Just give me those cutscenes. Just give them to me now. Igor playing hard of the cards there. Biss song incoming, too. Oh, yeah. Izanami clears, but let's go. Persona 3 Reload. What a good name for a remake of Persona 3. What a good freaking name, honestly. Okay, Persona 3 Remake called Persona 3 Reload, has its trailer officially released, not just leaked this time. Let's go over it. So, it looks like Persona 3. I think that's a good thing. Honestly, I do. They could have made a bunch of changes to P3, just for the sake of having changes, but I think just giving us P3 with the presentation of P5 is the play. I hope they're able to preserve the game's difficulty overall like i really like the way this is being framed overall i like the cinematography i like how we have the camera angles and perspective from p5 just in the world of p3 we have this mini map over here thank god you do not need to know how many times i got lost in this freaking school for no reason i like the little uh icons we have on the map there to indicate what room what room is which I really like how this game looks. It looks visually really impressive to me. The lighting here in the classroom as well. Love that. Good old Junpei. Is this a new scene? I did the Yukari social link and I don't recall this. Either that or this is from a scene in P3 I haven't gotten to yet. Which is possible, but... They say your health is the most... in most valuable asset, you know. I figured we should think about what we're putting into our bodies. This is back in June. So are we getting more story or, like, different social links for these characters? I'm kind of down for that. I think that could be really freaking nice just to help even out the experience in the first half of P3 because I feel it takes until about July for Persona 3 to really go off on its own and really, you know, pedal to the metal. If that makes sense. So I don't mind if they're expanding on P3 and adding more to it. But I hope that original experience is still preserved there. Uh, so she made the food and it's like, you know what? This is just not hitting. Like, this is not the way. We can just move on and do something else here. Oh, God. Did, you, did they start off with making sushi? If you're learning how to cook, I feel like there's other things to start off with than sushi, right? Like, I feel like there are easier dishes, or, possibly, I'm just god-awful at analyzing what the food is here. To me, that looks like a piece of fish on a bed of rice. I could be wrong there. I'm willing to be wrong, yeah? You know what? We call that character growth. Back in April now, on the 22nd, it could have done it on the 20th, right? Like, they could have leaned into the meme. Just do it on the 20th. There's a lot more people here than there used to be. I like how they're centered around Club Escapade. Kenji! Alright. I need everyone to, like, let me know. Is Kenji anyone's favorite social link? I need to know. Yeah, I need a show of hands. Just, like, in the comments, just, like, let me know. Oh, I like that little art of Makoto there. With this little splash art for his character here. Like this. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's the little touches that make this, like, formula for Persona work, in my opinion. It just oozes personality and all the, and everything. I'm kind of surprised, like, down here in the bottom right corner. This is going to be the weirdest nitpick of all time, and I understand that. I would, it's weird how this is red, because it looks more like P5 to me. But again, I don't mind. I don't mind having everything just not be blue, you know? The blue-red contrast is kind of hitting. I like it. This scene, though. Ooh. God, I'm so looking forward to what they could do for Tartarus. This could be a seller all of itself, all of its own. If they could just, like, iterate on Tartarus and just expand on it, flesh it out, make it more fun, while still preserving the difficulty. 
and the feeling of being overwhelmed that Tartarus can give you, and the resource, attrition, war you're kind of battling while in Tartarus, if they can preserve those elements but just expand on it, flesh it out, give me more unique gameplay varieties in Tartarus, that could be S tier. That could be so much fun. I like the little animations there as well. I like how Igor's just playing Yu-Gi-Oh there. Love that. It looks cool. I'm really liking how this is looking. Like I said before, I'm really liking how this is looking. If they just add to it, right? They flesh out what is there with P3. Maybe add more social links or more little individual scenarios for the main characters there. Especially in the first half, just to round it all out. Give Tartarus a bit of a revamp to preserve what made Tartarus special. While also just giving it more variety in gameplay and aesthetics. It could be so much It, I could be... Depending upon how much they add to this, this could be Game of the Year for 2024. I think in order to qualify to be in consideration for me, they would need to make quite a few significant cha significant changes. But if they can make Tartarus just flow way better, that's a massive step in the right direction, in my opinion. That could be really cool. Now, to a completely different aesthetic that is more in line with, say, Persona Q2. I still like how this looks, though. I think this could be fun. Does it feel like milking P5? Kind of, but if the game's good, I'm not going to mind, right? By the way, still no Samire. Oof. But a tactic-style Persona 5 game could be really cool. Okay, it can't just be me, right? Like, it can't just be me. This character. She kind of looks like Margaret from P4, right? Like, it's not just me, right? I'm not the only one saying this. I can't be. Maybe it's just the hair, and that's literally all it is, which it could be. I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to try and act like I'm some kind, some kind of prophet here. I'm just saying... Kinda looks like Margaret from P4. In a way. Probably not. So Almost can guarantee you it's not the same character, but still. But, this is what could make the game really fun, in my opinion. So it seems like the party is going to be consisting of three characters at a time, or at least in this one battle. It's a tactic-style game, so it's going to be a map with various obstacles, and it's going to be based on a grid layout. And your actions can affect that grid in different ways. So it seems like Joker here has an attack that doesn't affect in a 3x3 three three grid here. And he's positioned in such a way where he's going to be able to hit those three enemies with this one attack. It seems like it's going to be a turn-based game that tends to be what a strategy game like Tactics normally is. We have two abilities here. Deals medium damage in a small area. Downs target even if in cover. So it seems like these two characters here gain some kind of resistance because they're in cover here. But this ability, Phantom Judge, can still down them. And we have... And we have Aya here. Little animation. Boom! Dropped him. Oh, triple crit. They can form some kind of triangle attack. This looks broken. But you need to get the positioning right. Because I imagine you would need to do it in such a way where you can also time this. Because I imagine these characters would also be able to move out of this. If you're trying to like, just set this up. Freaking giant tank. Okay. Yeah, so Tactica looks interesting. I have... I have hopes for it. I think it could be a pretty good time. I don't think it needs to do all that much. I think it just needs to be a pretty good time. And you know what? 
as a game in this style, I'm not going to say no to it. So I'm going to call the video day after the day. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure in the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps support future content. And I greatly appreciate it. Stay safe. Have a great day. Go play some video games if you can. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Until we meet again.